Good evening, everybody. I'm Rihanna. And I'm Zaria. And, and this, this is Plant Based News. Scottish Wildlife Group buys puffin breeding ground to protect species in peril. What are you doing? I'm puffing. A Spanish entrepreneur discovers that it's possible to create 100% natural fabric made from pineapple leaves to replace leather. We've actually got one of these bags in the studio today. R- Rihanna, that's not a pineapple, that's, that's a cabbage with ribbons tied to it. Oh no! <laughs> Stop it, I can't do it! It's too... Iceland's whale hunters agree to stop killing endangered fin whales. Armani goes fur free. No, come on, Eddie. Be my mate! Ow! Oh, no! Nick Diaz gloats over his brother's explosive win against Conor McGregor by retweeting links from Joey Carbstrong, Durian Rider, and Vegan Gains. Vice.com feature Vegan Gains as their YouTube channel of the week. So this British wildlife group have bought a 40-acre site in the north of Scotland to protect puffins. And thank you for protecting vulnerable species. Would you like a medal? Well, I think they deserve some sort of medal thing, as most people don't think about vulnerable species. It doesn't, like, make me feel much other than, like, thank you for doing what should have been done. I feel a lot. I feel really happy about this. Yeah, of course you do. You're happy about everything. Go puffins. So, Spanish designer Carmen Hijosa created Pinatex, which is um, a material made from pineapple fibres. Do you think you'd definitely support something like that? I mean, I like that it's eco-friendly and I also like that it's biodegradable. I yeah. guess I'd want to see what it looks like. Yeah, it could <laughs> it could end up looking like your handbag. Oh. Uh, still. Where do you even put your phone? Props to this Spanish dude for making a It's bag. a woman. Is it? Yeah. Props to this Spanish lady for making a bag made of I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> I thought it was a man. So what do you think about the whale hunters agreeing to stop killing the endangered fin whales? Well, obviously it's a good thing, but I just don't... Like, I, don't I don't know what they want. Like, do they want a Nobel Prize? Do they want a round of applause? Like, we appreciate you not killing defenceless animals anymore. And I apologise for those pesky activists who got in your way and really hindered your, uh, your wishes, your want to kill these perfectly innocent animals. You think they're like the puffin people, don't you? Yes. I'm just sick of people being like, oh, look, we're not going to do this anymore. Thank you. Thank you for not killing a defenceless animal. We really appreciate it. I'm calm, it's fine. So Nate Diaz's brother Nick has been retweeting um, videos by people like Joey Carbstrong, legend, um, Vegan Gaines, another legend, and um, it's basically been remarking on how he's a vegan and people are constantly slammed in the MMA world for not being able to achieve wait, something. Wait, wait, wait. Are the Diaz brothers even vegan? Because I heard they eat our fishy friends. Right, to be fair... This is what irritates me because there is footage of Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz um, eating fish and I want to call them vegan. I really do hope they're vegan and this was just like an accident a long time ago. But if you do watch this, please stop eating our fish friends. It's really mean. They don't need to be hurt. We'll have no fish by 2048, so stop eating them. Yeah, Fish are animals too. So the story that I'm probably the most excited about is that Armani has gone fur free, which I think is bloody incredible. Yeah, I like this one. Again, like, thank you for not harming the animals, but it's a big step, especially for Armani. Yeah, and I mean, I think, I hope it's the first of many fashion houses that decide to go fur free. Yeah, definitely. That stop supporting, you know, the cruel practice of literally ripping skin off the live back of animals. Or anally electrocuting them. Yeah, Exactly. So thank you, Armani. We are really happy to hear that you're not going to be doing this anymore. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Here's a round of applause. Sarcasm aside, we are happy you are and more fashion houses should follow this. So who's going to be next after Armani? That's my question. We understand that you're looking to care for and protect the environment and the animals. And we have to say one thing. You're still going to be using leather for your bags and shoes, right? Now, leather comes from the skin of cows, which... To be honest, it's not really any different from using the fur of animals, right? Yep. It's exactly the same thing, except we package leather up as being something totally different. Yeah. And the thing is, you can use really cool, awesome new materials, such as... Pineapple leaves. 
So Vegan Gains was Vice's YouTube channel of the week for number 11, I think it was. Um, uh, that's awesome. It's great. And I think Vegan Gains is really taking over that world, the fitness world, especially on YouTube and just pointing out the clear hypocrisies of most of the people, the fact that most of them are on steroids. Um, not only that, just the fact that promoting things like whey powder and and just trying gross. to yeah it's just gross stuff and it's stupid and it's all for money cool. you don't really care about people's health they won't give you the real science out there they'll just give you the kind of funded the funded science with vested interests and it's just he's he's great for calling that stuff out so it's good that he's got recognition by a, a website like vice i've only got one thing to say about this oh god vegan gains keep making those vegan gains yeah get lost my biceps oh, bigger. oh no how long is your tongue it's Rihanna's birthday tomorrow, so we're off to have some cake. Thanks, Thanks for watching, everybody. We've been great.